the things I want them to see are really basic. I want them to notice all the Indian names and a detail in the waterways. How does that apply to what John Smith is thinking and feeling? How does that apply to what the Virginia Company is thinking and feeling? How does that apply to what the Indians might be thinking and feeling? It's really simple that I want them to notice those two things. We have done research already on the different Indian language groups and tribes. Monacan is a student-speaking tribe that they've already heard about. They know Powhatan. So finding names that you recognize, finding names that you don't recognize, looking at the different water, looking at the different names. What is that P right there? And you take a really close look at it. What is this up here, this area up here? Significant signification of these marks. Oh, so this is a map here. Yeah. Right? It's, it it's telling you what these marks mean. Yeah. Okay, so my question is, what is this right here? What is the key telling you that it is? Okay, that's a funny way of spelling house. King's house. Okay, and what is this little dot? Ordinary house. Ordinary. Ordinary. Ordinary house. That's true. some of the ordinary houses. Okay. What else did you find on there? We found some of the king's yeah. houses. Where? Like right there. Right. Do you think that there are kings that live in those houses? No. How come? I think they're from Okay. How come they're called king's houses? Definitely. Who do you think might live there if it's not a king? Um, people that are rich, maybe. Like who? Who else is there? Maybe Redburn. Maybe his brother. Ah, Paladin had a brother. Very, very important brother, Okesh and Kano. Yes, he did. So maybe Paladin's brother lives in one of those houses, right? Okay. What else do you see on the map? Okay. It's hard to read. Oh, no. Weird print. What? There's another one. I think you're right. What? Can I move it closer to me? What? Discovered what beyond by our by relation? I'm not sure what that is. We'll have to look that up. I don't know what that is. We'll have to look that up. Okay. What else do you see? You see a lot of trees and some mountains. Okay, a lot of trees. John Smith took the time to write, write all the trees. Okay. We kind of noticed that these were broken into words. Like we saw the Chesapeake Bay. Okay, Chesapeake Bay. Very big in the middle. Okay. Good. Keep looking. Look at the words. The conversation that I have with my students is a running commentary. They understand grades, so we grade the colony. We talk about how they got the money. They're starting out pretty strong. They're very creative in the way that they finance the settlement. They get somebody like John Smith. They get people to volunteer. So they start out at a pretty good A. They also have the really bad luck of arriving at one of the worst droughts, heat waves in the history of the United States. They didn't successfully plant crops when they arrived in May. They ran out of food very quickly. They had this class struggle between the noble but not rich gentlemen and the, the more working class. 